What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. I'm gonna show you guys how to get real weather version two onto your iOS device. This is an insane uh, wallpaper shortcut that will basically create a wallpaper for your device that has um, live weather icons, conditions, temperatures, location. Um, it, it's pretty insane. The lock screen will even have a, a traveling moon or sun that'll go across your screen as the day or night goes on. It's pretty damn insane, like I said. Um, so first off, before we get into um, the tutorial here, I do want to give a shout out to iHeaven. Uh, this is probably the best place to be if you guys have questions about how this shortcut works. And this is also probably the number one place to find um, just some of the coolest setups with real weather. As you can see, people post them on here all the time. Um, different setups using this shortcut, uh, you know, different icons and wallpapers and overlays. You could, you guys can find just a ton of cool stuff on iHeaven along with, you know, a plethora of other setup kind of stuff and jailbreak related stuff. It's it's an awesome Discord um, server to be a part of. So I'd highly recommend you guys to check that out. Link will be down in the description. And also for everything that I mentioned in this video, you can find all the links for everything down in the description. Uh, but anyways, the first thing you're going to want to do to set up uh, for this shortcut is to go into your files application and I'll show you the, the uh, actual directory here on how to get there. You go to iCloud Drive, you swipe down until you see the shortcuts folder there. And then within the, sh the shortcuts folder, you will have to create another folder and you can do this by clicking the three little dots in the upper right there. Click on new folder and now you will have to name it exactly to how I name it. It's going to be I O S weather and it is case sensitive. So um, each capital letter has to be capital. Each lowercase letter has to be lowercase in order for this to work. So just create iOS weather as you guys can see there. And now our file system is set and ready for the files. So next step is we're going to jump into Safari again. Like I said, link for this will be in the description. Uh, this is basically the main uh, document for real weather version 2. This is the installation guide and FAQ. So if you guys have any questions that I don't answer in this video, be sure to check this out. And if you still can't figure it out, the best place to ask about it is on the iHeaven Discord. Uh, but anyways, what we're going to do here is swipe down a bit and I'm just going to show you guys how to do this. So uh, first uh, step here is installation. This is the files you need. We're going to go ahead and click on that link and then click on download. And then we should get a pop up here. And we can click on download again and the uh, files are now downloading. It is a pretty big file, so give it a little bit of time here. I will be back once it's uh, all done downloading. All right, the file has completed. As you guys can see there, we'll click on the little magnifying glass. It will uh, jump us into our downloads folder and you can see right there, real weather uh, version two. So just click on it to unzip it. And then now we need to move that folder to the one we created earlier. So we'll just click and hold on the folder, we'll click on the move, and then we're gonna move it to iOS weather. So uh, iCloud Drive, shortcuts, iOS weather, the folder we created earlier, and then go ahead and move that file there. Now we can verify it's in there by backing up. Again, I'll just back all the way up so you guys can see how to get there. iCloud Drive to the bottom where shortcuts folder, iOS weather, and then there is our real weather version two. And as you can see, this is everything that comes in it. This is all customizable to whatever kind of images you guys want to use. You can customize the wallpapers, you can customize the overlays, you can customize the icons. Uh, basically everything is customizable. I'm not going to show you guys in this video on how to do all that, but just know if you want to change the way the sun and the moon look, you can do that. It's all up to you. So now that we have the files, we are ready for all of these shortcuts. So let's go back to Safari and I'm going to go ahead and clear that download and back up. And then we can keep on scrolling down here. So here is step three, download the shortcuts. Module number one is for your language. So download your language and your language only. If you speak English, download English. If you speak German, download German. I am English, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the link there. It's gonna jump us into shortcuts. And as you can see, this is the shortcut. And for some reason, this first one always takes a second to load before I can actually scroll down on it. Just give it a second here. There we go. So we can scroll all the way to the bottom and add untrusted shortcut. 
I'm going to go to my shortcuts to verify the modules there. We're good to go for module two. So let's go back to Safari, scroll down until we find uh, module two. And this is going to be for the uh, greeting name and location services. So go ahead and click on that link. Add that to your shortcuts. Again, swipe to the bottom, add untrusted shortcut, go to our shortcuts. There's module two. Now we're going to do module three. And these are all needed in order for real weather to work. So module three. And then we again can swipe to the bottom. Add untrusted. Verify it's there. There's module three. Now we're going to go back again and get module four. As you can see, it tells you which each module is. I'll explain to you guys in a second exactly what's going on here. So here is module four. Add untrusted. Make sure it's there. And then the final shortcut, which is module five, which is the real weather version two shortcut. Go ahead and install that. And this is the longest of them all. Sometimes it's a little weird and it doesn't load like it just did there. So we'll try to do that again. Hopefully it loads this time so I don't have to keep repeating. There we go. This does take a second to the load and you'll see why right here. This These shortcuts are absolutely insane. I don't even know how the way to Zion figured out how to do all this. It's, it's just nutty. Look at the size of this shortcut. This is the main shortcut that's going to run everything and set up the wallpapers. And as you can see, it is lengthy it's, it's pretty insane so big shout out to the way to zion for creating this this is nuts so add this one and now we are good to go we have the files in place we have all of the shortcuts we need in order to run this now basically what each module is is settings basically for the shortcut so each module allows you to edit different aspects to the shortcut, which is ultimately gonna change the outcome of the wallpapers that are being displayed on your device. So module one is language here. As you can see, you can set your greetings and stuff like that, like the weather outside is, if you would rather it say something else, you can edit that. All this is completely customizable. I'm just gonna leave it as is, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and just click on that. Actually, what I'm gonna do is kill shortcuts from multitasking, because for some reason, when I install shortcuts, it doesn't show me little updates when I tap on them. So we'll tap on that. We got the little check mark. Module two is general settings. Again, you can go in here. Uh, the first part here is your name. As you can see, it says Eric. Eric is the one who created this. He is the madman behind this. I'm just gonna go ahead and put IDM for iDevice Movies. And again, you can go through this whole shortcut and customize whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it as that. Module three is your lock screen settings. Again, like I said, this is extremely customizable. It's 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 a little technical, but I mean, if you go through here and you read this, it, it's telling you what you're adjusting, like hide the overlay from zero or one, yes or no. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can you can go through and you can just edit all of this stuff. It's, it's pretty cool. So um, we'll just leave it as is. We're not gonna edit any of it. So once you've you know made changes to it the way you want it, you literally just run the shortcut. So we'll click on okay. Okay again, and then okay one more time there. And now the shortcut should update my wallpapers and look pretty damn cool. So there we go. Let's go ahead and exit out of it. And as you can see, there is the overlay. So let's go ahead and go to the lock screen. So there you go, that's what the lock screen looks like now as you can see. There's a bunch of information. There's an icon, there's live weather, there's an overlay, there's the traveling sun that will move across your screen. All of these elements are completely changeable. You can set this up any way you want. You can have it more minimal, you can remove things, you can add things, you could have it just be the temperature down in the lower right. Whatever you want, you can do that. Uh, but there's a couple other things I do wanna cover before I close out the video, and that is how to automate this and also how to disable the notifications for shortcuts. 
So basically what it did is when you, when you ran that shortcut, it gathered all of this weather information for you, created a wallpaper and set the wallpaper. That's all it did. And uh, it's going to stay like that unless you manually update it or you automate it. So you can automate this to run. Uh, I like to do it every 30 minutes throughout the entire day. Um, that way it's just constantly, you know, the most up-to-date weather conditions for where I am. And I did test this out beforehand. I ran it for like two days and it does not take away very much battery life, if any at all. It's very, very minimum. I didn't notice a difference in my battery life by doing this. So, I mean, it's up to you. I didn't notice anything different, but what, what you do to automate this now is you go to automation and I actually have all of these set up here. So I'm going to quickly just delete all these and redo them all. So bear with me. I will actually fast forward this part for you guys. Okay. We're back to square run. Now it's going to be a lot of work to get all of those back in, but as you guys could probably see, I had it set up for most of the day to run the shortcut automatically in the background so that I don't have, even have to think about it. So uh, what we're going to do is create personal automation. We're going to do by time of day. And I usually start this off, let's say at 6.30 a.m. will be my first interval. Make sure you select a.m. And then we're going to do next. And we're going to do add action. We're going to do scripting. And then we're going to swipe down until we see run shortcut, which is towards the bottom here. So run shortcut. And then you're going to choose the shortcut by selecting there. And then you're going to want to run uh, real weather version 2. So select it there. Click next. And you're going to want to turn off ask before running. So again, don't ask and done. So now at 6.30 a.m., it's gonna run the shortcut automatically. It's gonna gather all of my current weather information, create the wallpaper, and then set the wallpaper. And I won't even know it because it's all in the background. So uh, again, what you can do is add another one. So from here, what I would do is time of day. We'll do 7 a.m. Again, rinse and repeat. So next, add action, scripting. To the bottom there, run shortcut, select the shortcut, real weather version two, next, ask before running, turn off, don't ask, done. And again, what I'll do is I'll do this from about 6.30 a.m. until about 1 a.m. So I'll, I'll go through every 30 minutes and add this shortcut. That way I don't even gotta think about it, it's just doing it on its own and that's how you set up automation. All right, now the last and final thing I wanna show you guys is how to disable uh, shortcuts notifications. Because with these automations set up, you're going to be getting a notification every time it runs it, which is going to be super annoying. So I'll show you guys how to turn that off. What you're going to want to do is go into settings here, and then you're going to go ahead and go to screen time, go to see all activity. And now I will have to change mine a little here. So we'll go down to the bottom. So here's your notification section, and I'm actually going to swipe back to, I think it was the 31st. Yeah, there we go. So as you can see, I was getting a ton of shortcuts notifications because of it, of it running automatically. So what we'll do is go to shortcuts. And then what you can do is you can turn off notifications just like that. And now you won't get any notifications anytime the automatic or the automated shortcut is running. So there'll be no notifications. It will constantly up, be updating itself to your current weather conditions. And uh, that's going to be pretty much it guys for this video. Like I said, maybe I'll get crazier in the next video and show you guys actually how to customize all of this. Um, it's, it's pretty insane. Like you can move, you know, the X axis, the Y axis of all elements up or down or left or right, or, you know, however you want, you can really make this look super unique. You can, you can make your non jailbroken device look like it's jailbroken. Like people will legit think that your device is jailbroken and it is not. And it's just because of this crazy um, wallpaper shortcut, which is just nuts. Again, like I said at the beginning of the video, um, if you guys want to discover awesome setups and icon packs and overlays and anything that, you know, relates to iOS, jailbreaking, non-jailbreaking, be sure to check out the, the iHeaven Discord. It, it's an awesome place. So here is iHeaven, guys. Again, the link for that's down in the description. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. If you guys think that this uh, this Real Weather version 2 is absolutely insane, uh, be sure to give uh, The Way to Zion a shout on Twitter. Um, I'll leave his uh, name down in the description. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.